Imagine walking through the vast wilderness of ancient America. The towering redwoods whisper in the wind, a mammoth's distant trumpeting echoes through the valley. And somewhere out there, something is watching. Something massive. Something extinct. These were the animals that roamed the land before the arrival of European settlers. Creatures that lived and died beside the first people of the continent. The Native Americans. But this isn't just about extinction. It's about survival. The battles. The myths and the monsters they faced. Today, we're diving into the unbelievable, the extinct animals that Native Americans actually encountered and sometimes hunted. Let's start with a creature so bizarre, you'd swear it belonged in Jurassic Park. Meet the Glyptotherium, a 6.5 foot long, 2,500 pound walking tank. It looked like a cross between an armadillo and a dinosaur, with a massive shell of bony plates covering its back, head, and tail. Its armor was no joke, two inches thick in some areas. That's eight times thicker than the shell of a modern turtle. And yet, despite this fortress of bone, Native Americans hunted them. In Texas, scientists discovered a glyptotherium fossil with butcher marks and missing osteoderms. Bony plates, possibly harvested for tools or ritual. This wasn't just hunting for survival. This was dominion over giants. And it gets crazier. This animal didn't just defend itself. It fought back. Its thick, muscular tail, lined with mobile, bony rings, could swing at 25 miles per hour, potentially knocking predators senseless. It was a prehistoric mace on legs, and humans still took it down. You've heard of wolves, but these weren't just wolves. They were dire wolves, the largest canines to ever exist. 245 pounds of muscle, jaws, and bone-crushing fury. Their bite was stronger than any dog alive today, even stronger than a hyena. These predators had evolved to crush bone, rip through high, and tear down massive prey. And they didn't hunt alone. They moved in packs of 12 to 30, making them the nightmare of every herbivore in North America and a serious threat to humans. Native Americans didn't just live alongside them. They competed with them. For food, for territory, for survival. No evidence yet shows direct confrontation between man and dire wolf. But one can only imagine the standoff, a spear in hand, eyes glowing in the dark, a low growl, and then silence. Now we enter nightmare territory. The Smilodon, better known as the saber-toothed cat, was one of the most terrifying predators to ever stalk the earth. It wasn't just big, it was colossal. The largest species, Smilodon populator, weighed as much as a Kodiak bear. But what made it legendary were its weapons. Two canine teeth up to 11 inches long, longer than a T-Rex tooth, perfect for slicing into soft tissue like a biological dagger. Its bite? Surprisingly weak, but it didn't need force. It had precision. Smilodon went straight for the throat, aiming for a fast, silent kill. Modern lions hunt in prides. Some scientists believe Smilodon did too. Fossil sites have uncovered multiple Smilodons together, hinting at group behavior. Imagine being a lone hunter. You hear rustling. A shadow drops from above. Claws slash. Teeth pierce. And then, nothing. This wasn't a predator. It was an assassin, and humans had no choice but to survive around it. Towering 11 feet tall when standing, weighing over 2,100 pounds, and possessing the skull of a killer, the Arctotus simus was the biggest bear to ever walk North America. The name Short-Faced Bear is misleading. Nothing about it was small. It had powerful limbs, huge claws, and teeth capable of ripping through flesh and bone. But here's the twist. 
this monster may not have been a full-time predator. Some studies suggest it scavenged more than it hunted, stealing kills from other predators, including humans. Picture it, a band of Native American hunters just brought down a mammoth. Then Arctodus appears. Do you fight a 2,000-pound bear? Or do you give up your kill? Most likely, you walk away. When we think of extinct giants, mammoths and mastodons are first to come to mind. And for good reason. The Colombian mammoth could weigh over 12 tons and reach over 12 feet at the shoulder. Bigger than any living elephant. Their cousins, the woolly mammoths, were slightly smaller, but covered in thick fur for Ice Age survival. The American mastodon was shorter, stockier, and arguably meaner. But Native Americans didn't just live near them, they hunted them. With nothing but stone-tipped spears and courage, Paleo-Indians developed tactics to bring down these walking fortresses. One fossil site revealed a mammoth skeleton with eight embedded spear points in the skull, ribs, and stomach. They knew exactly where to strike. Not with brute force, but with patience, precision, and teamwork. The Clovis culture, around 13,000 years ago, was especially known for their skill in hunting megafauna. These early Americans were the first to master the art of bringing down Earth's largest land mammals. Yes, you heard that right. North America once had its own camel. Camelops, a seven-foot-tall grazer with long legs and possibly one or two humps, roamed the grasslands and deserts of the West. While not as massive or dangerous as mammoths or bears, its presence is still mind-blowing. It lived in areas where modern camels would seem completely out of place. Oddly, there's little evidence that Native Americans hunted camelops heavily. Few butchered remains. Few tools nearby. Was it too fast? Too elusive? or just not tasty enough. Whatever the reason, Camelops quietly vanished around 10,000 years ago, leaving behind only fossilized tracks and mystery. Beavers are cute, right? Now imagine one the size of a black bear stretching over seven feet long and weighing three times more than a German shepherd. Welcome to Castoroides, the giant beaver of prehistoric America. It had massive front teeth, nearly a foot long, and a powerful bite, not for gnawing down trees, but possibly for gouging threats. Despite its size, Castoroides was a graceful swimmer, with webbed feet and a long tail for propulsion. Its diet? Submerged aquatic plants, more fish pond than forest. Surprisingly, Native Americans didn't seem to mess with it much. Only one fossil site shows evidence of interaction, but legends from Canadian First Nations speak of giant beavers in their mythology, creatures that may have been inspired by ancient sightings passed through generations. These creatures, the mammoths, the saber-toothed cats, the dire wolves, the giant beavers, are all gone now. But they were real, they were here, and Native Americans faced them, adapted to them, and in many cases, overcame them. Some scientists argue it was humans who drove them to extinction through overhunting and expanding populations. Others say it was climate change as the Ice Age ended and ecosystems collapsed. Whatever the reason, by around 10,000 years ago, the age of the North American giants had come to an end. Today, only 30% of that megafauna still exists. The rest is dust, bone, and memory. But if you look close enough in the stories, in the bones, and in the land, you can still feel the shadow of these giants. What if I told you this list is just the beginning? America's prehistoric past is filled with forgotten creatures, living myths, and untold stories. So if you enjoyed this journey into the wild, into the world before time, then you'll definitely want to check out our next video, Extinct Animals the Ancient Egyptians Lived With. Smash that like button, Subscribe to uncover more lost legends. And remember, the past isn't dead, it's just buried.